Glorious days. Ah, Reverend Nang, aru ABD keko mtiela. My name ya Rasung Sabeni, but Rasung Nang be pasalo. Bagra pana tina angko rami zikubana tsoko nani na. Our prayer is that God, in special ways, would minister to each one of us at our point of need. Ani yan dentang mansa biyan yung an ze isola sa sakan tinan dentang mansa agan siya. Our theme for this particular convention. Ya antini dalbig pa thombi mo niya don sum pangsak niya is how does the church manage in times that are changing? Ya den tang ring pa obos tarango mundo yara maydke ong dagdag nang how does the church deal with global contextual issues? Maydke mundo yara agsa kumko ong ing parang ni kri. And the answer to the questions we ask are found in the Bible. Aro ya snani rana plat agam sa kanyang kuradzing sastro ni ko mangen. So what I'm going to do over these three evening meetings, origman ang ya atam gatam ang tinyo lakya ni rango is to invite you to look at three different churches in the New Testament. Anga niyam gatam ni Niang kita sastra segaman gegetam mondori rangko niata niko nangdeken. When you study the New Testament carefully, na niang kita sastra ko gisnange pore gensi mode. You realize that the New Testament talks about about thirty three to thirty four churches. Ya niang kita sastra ge kolachi getam bagi kolachi bre mondori rangne man aga nani rang ganang. And each of these churches has their own story. Aro ya mondori rang gian tion wa magni omani golporang gnam. And I'd like to encourage each one of you to study those churches when you have some time in your own personal journey of faith. Oni kama na si mani bebe ra ay zangi thaniyo na si mang sumay rang ko mangyan si mo de ya mondori rang ni kama amrakte sandi pray niya ni ko dakshina ng didi na namnika. I wish we had time to look at all of those churches together. Ya sumai mateo ansin absan waplak mondre mo niyata mangens mo daga kusiyang begensya. But like I said, we have three evenings. Ani bang niya kan gumun tansin atam gatam sa nola kiram na maday gan. And we're going to look at three churches. Aro ansin gega tham mondre yung kuniyat gan. Tonight we're going to look at the church in Jerusalem. Ya walo ansin Jerusalem mo dongga ba mondoli kuniyat gan. And as we look at the church in Jerusalem, aro ansin yung Jerusalem mo dongga mondoli kuniyat on. I want to suggest to you that this was a Church that set standards. Anga ya ko ganas ka ya Jerusalem mo dongpa mondolian. Ants ni mondolian may di ko ngan ngacim uko day miso kaponga. As you read the New Testament, this was the church that set standards that other churches would then follow. Ants ni yam dito sa astro ko niyon ya Jerusalem mo dongpa mondolio. Je na ba niya ganas uko ng kapon mondolian ba zarik na krag kaponga ni nakin. So if you're taking down notes tonight, you need to write Church of Jerusalem, the church that set standards. Ano yung yakamon na siya ang ngode na ang gisebo? Jerusalem mo dong kapa mondoli, diyan gapan rin na jarit na ang gilya ko day miso kapa. And as we look at the Church of Jerusalem tonight, aro yawa lo na Jerusalem dong kapa mondoli ko niyon. I'd like you to look at your church tonight. Anga wa mondoli kuniya te nang ni antani mondoli ni mon sanche ni ko nang nika. I'd like you to look at your life tonight. An simang antani ni zangi thani ko niya tani ko nang nika. And I'd like you to ask yourself one question. Aro anga na simang antani ko mungsas nani ko sanche na agana nang nika. When people think of my church, zen salo mandirang ang ni mondoli ni mon sanche gan. What do they have to say? Wah marang ni mondoli ni kau mai kau akan gian. When people think of me, mandirang jen selo ang ni kau mansan cia. What do they have to say? Wah marang ni kau man mai kau akan gian. At the end of my life, aro jen selo ni zangi tani aku sakau macuk gian. What will I be remembered for? Angkora ang ni ya aku sakau ni riang manora mai ni kau man mandirang giskar kapat gian. What is my church remembered for? Ang ni mondoli kau ra mai ni kau man mandirang masih bata. The Church of Jerusalem is remembered for setting standards. Jerusalem mo dongba mondoli kora, 
Tonight I want us to think about five lessons from the text that was read for us. As I look at this very familiar text in the Bible, I learned five lessons from the church in Jerusalem. Number one, it was a church in communion with God and with one another. Ya Mondolera iso baksa aro saksa sakaman baksa nang rum grke jangi thangpa mondolonga number 2 ganigpa it was a church that was caring for the needs of one another ya mondolera saksa sakbri nangani rangna sumsak ni rokre kapa mondolonga number 3 this was a contagious church gathamgpa ya mondolera Number four, bring up. This was a consistent church. Ya mondolera, plakatan ziko dakna kananga tik tak dak drink up And number five, ar bungag pa. This was a church that was controlled by the Holy Spirit. Ya mondolera, gisagrong tal gbati sason ka koman gba mondolonga. Very quickly tonight we want to look at those five lessons. Ya walo ajin tharakke ya ming mungbonga skiranya ko ra gen. Church in communion with God. Isol baksa nang rengre kpa mondoli and in communion with one another. Aro saksa sakon baksa nang rengre kpa mondoli. I know that most of you here are delegates from the church. Alam niya yano bangbal ta thunda kaparang nasimal mondoli ni delegate rangwa. And I know that you've all brought your Bibles with you. Aro nga wia nasimal ni bangbatan sastro ko rabat ka. So I'd like us to open our Bibles tonight. Oni mo nga yawalo nasimang anta din sastro ko badal china ganan nang and just in case you didn't bring your Bible for this meeting, make sure you bring them for all of the next meetings. Turn with me in your Bible to Acts chapter 2. I'm going to read to you verse 42 and verse 44. This is what the Bible says about this church. The Bible says they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Aruamang watatarangi skianio, arurengsio, pitapianio, arubiani rango watgalgiza dumachem. Look at verse 44. The Bible says all the believers were together and had everything in common. Pot so biblical ni bono de kiagana, aruplak pebe ragabrang dam sansum, aruplak kon dondamicha achem. And verse 47 begins by saying this was a church that was praising God. Ariano uh Pots of Prisna to Subsanway Uno Agania Ya Mondolera is soul come tell and your uh material by Mondolia Watsem. Now as you read those verses now, you begin to see three very clear pictures. Number one, this was a church that lived and loved the word of God. Note the Bible says they were devoted to. This was not something that they were casual about. This was something that they were devoted to. I'll never forget. I had just finished my studies at UBS. And I was 
beginning to pastor the church in Bangalore. And, and I was a young man who was so excited about serving God. And I'll never forget my first sermon at the Emmanuel Baptist Church. After I preached, I was happy it went well. I was standing at the door and shaking hands with people.